we don't need any more symbols here, but we keep getting them every day. But I unfortunately get the sense that if Newtown wouldn't break through with some folks, I don't know what will. Do you get the sense that, you know, at this point, maybe there'll be some political pressures in the back that will exert some, you know, levers here to get people to do something, but nothing else in the public sphere here is going to really change anybody's minds. Because the polls all say the public wants them to do it, but it doesn't seem to really be breaking through to a lot of folks. That's why I'm under the firm belief that this time will be different. And I agree with Mr. Brodsky here. Uh, I wish I could argue with you on this one, but I can't. That the, the reasonable part of the Republican Party, the sensible people, are sticking their heads up. You, I mean, you know, normally one could say, well, if it happened to one of them, then maybe it would change. Well, it did happen to one of them, a congresswoman shot, changed for the rest of her life. As you said, we don't need any more symbols. And tragically, we don't want any more symbols. I mean, this young lady, this young lady could have been a U.S. Senator, one mile from where the president's house is in Chicago, gunned down. But see, her death, and I'm gonna say it, is one of those that we really don't focus on because it's a inner city, you know, uh, black on black crime. Something has to give. Newtown wasn't black on black. It was innocent babies gunned down. And that's why, again, I start the way I, I finished the way I started. I'm under firm belief that this time is different. So I don't know about an assault weapons ban, but something's going to happen.